guys welcome back to my channel um, I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video oh, excuse my dog <laughs> yes I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video um, and the reason is because I'm pregnant I am 20 weeks six days to be exact and that's pretty much why I've been slacking on the video making because when I get pregnant, I get really, really sick. But I've got my iPad here with tons of notes um, because it's been so long. I just, I, and I have a lot to say. I don't want it to be kind of all over the place. I kind of have like a little format I'm trying to follow. So bear with me if I keep looking down. We were trying to get pregnant for a really, really long time. I know after Mason turned one years old, we kind of, we were kind of trying not really trying not to, but it didn't happen. Um, and then January this year, we, or I decided, no, we kind of decided together that we really did want to have another baby and soon. So I, so I purchased the um, clear blue ovulation kits and we started that in January and did that for months and months and months and it seemed like it didn't work. And the one that I bought was the cheaper one. I think it was like $34 and it just gives you your one most fertile day. Um, I think it was October when, was it October? Yeah, October, I, I, the store that I normally buy the ovulation kits from didn't have that one. They had the advanced digital ovulation kit and that one gives you four, four of your most, four most fertile days, and I believe that's the one that got us pregnant because it was shortly after that we found out we were pregnant, and I actually found out I was pregnant one day after Mason's birthday. Mason's birthday is November sixth, and I found out I was pregnant November seventh. I didn't. I was so excited, but I wanted to keep it a secret. I didn't want to tell Eric right away. Um, my family was in town for Mason's birthday. So the first person I told was obviously my mom. And then that was, which was on a Friday. And then on Saturday, my sister and her husband flew in and I obviously couldn't keep a secret from them. So on the way home from the airport, I told them, um, and the reason I kept it a secret is because I wanted to tell more of the family uh, I wanted to tell the family in Texas and a few close friends during Mason's birthday party so um, and the reason I told my sister and her husband and my mom is because I, I wanted to film it so if you're interested in seeing um, how I told my husband then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll have that clip in there we found out the gender of the baby very very early we found out when I was so we found out when I was 13 weeks pregnant. Um, I think I believe that was the second ultrasound because the first one was when I was just eight weeks old and the baby was, you know, just a tiny little speck on the monitor. So they had me come back a few weeks later at 13 weeks and the ultrasound lady was, she immediately was able to tell he was a boy and we are so excited. At, you know, we are so excited. I know Mason's going to enjoy having a little brother and having two boys. My mom had two boys first, so I'm excited. I think it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be really crazy in our house, but I think it's going to be fun. Uh, let's see. Um, my pregnancies are considered high risk because with Mason, I was um, diagnosed with uh, gestational diabetes. So with this pregnancy, the doctors are my doctor is monitoring the pregnancy very closely so I had to get normally you get your uh, glucose test at 28 weeks but because I had gestational diabetes previously they wanted to you know of course catch it sooner so I went in at 16 weeks for the uh, blood glu so I went in at 16 weeks for the glucose test and at that appointment, all my blood work came back normal. Um, but I am still at risk. Um, the doctor said I do need to 
watch my diet and continue working out. Fingers crossed I don't get gestational diabetes this time around. So because of the whole gestational diabetes thing, um, like I said, my pregnancy is considered high risk. So I see my doctor a lot. The first month I saw her three times in the one month and then now I go twice a month. So far so good. Um, other than the normal pregnancy symptoms, which I feel like I get all of them. I get the headaches, I have the nausea, I have the t I was tired. I think every single symptom you can have, I get cuz it's not fun. I'm very appreciative and happy that I'm pregnant, but it is difficult being pregnant. Okay, so moving on from trying to catch you up from when I found out I was pregnant to now. I currently weigh 135 pounds. Uh, when I first found out I was pregnant, I was 130 pounds. So I've gained about four, about around four and five pounds because um, I weigh myself weekly and there's about a pound difference when I weigh myself. So every week I weigh myself and I also um, measure my belly and this week my belly is 37 inches around. In case anyone's wondering, um, I did this with Mason. I, I know they sell those um, pregnancy journals but instead, I just bought a weekly, monthly planner from Target. And I just kind of, I just jot down like symptoms, uh, cravings. On Mondays, I enter a new week in pregnancy. So every Monday, I write down my weight, my the size of my belly, the size of the baby. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. This week, at 20 weeks, the baby is the size of a small cantaloupe um, and he definitely feels like that. I can definitely feel him moving around, kicking. This little boy bounces off the walls. He is super hyper and it's funny because I don't drink coffee because I, I can finally tolerate the smell now but I just can't get it to taste right. I normally use like a super sugary vanilla sweetener and that just, I don't like it. I've tried the plain sweeteners, don't like them. I've tried um, like the paleo sweeteners, like all natural. I don't like it, so I just figure maybe I can't drink coffee now. And I don't really drink Coke. This baby isn't getting any caffeine other than chocolate. Uh, let's see, for other symptoms, since the baby is getting so much bigger and I am have a smaller frame, I can definitely feel my rib cage expanding. Um, I have these same pains with Mason. It's just that very last rib bone on each side. It just, I can feel it opening and it, it just hurts. It's uncomfortable. Um, I know what it is. I've asked the doctor about it. She said it's normal. It's because, it's because I'm, I have a small frame and the baby's growing and he needs room. So I'm just trying to deal with it. I don't like to take any kind of pain medication, so I don't take any Tylenol. So along with the uh, pains from the my rib cage expanding, I also get a lot of headaches, and it's all the time. I would say I get headaches probably three days a week, and I don't normally get headaches. I'm a person that doesn't really get sick. I don't get headaches. I can tolerate pain pretty well, but this is just... I think at first it was probably because I didn't drink enough water, but since I'm working out and I know how important it is to stay hydrated and how much you know the baby needs water, I've been drinking a lot. This week, my biggest craving is Arby's. I've been craving the, um, is it the beef and cheddar melt? Oh, I just want one so bad, so bad. Um, but, but because I've been so tired this week, like this week I've been really, really tired. I haven't gone to boot camp. I haven't done anything. We haven't left the house. I think I've only left the house two times this week. The first time was to go grocery shopping and the second time was for my um, doctor's appointment. But other than that, we've just, me and Mason have been hermits. But I guess it doesn't help that it's also been cold and rainy. So that's my excuse. So I think I pretty much covered everything for this week's update. Like I mentioned before, this week I had my 20 week um, anatomy ultrasound um, and we got to see the baby. Normally he's so active and kicking and constantly moving around. 
but during the appointment, he I guess it was his nap time because he was just in the fetal position. He had both hands in front of his face like this, like right in front of his mouth. So I think he was like trying to either suck his fingers or um, he just found that comfortable. So he couldn't get a really good shot of his face. Uh, but it, it was cute when she got like the whole body picture of him and we got to see his little feet. His legs, of course, you know, were bent and his feet were together, but he kept wiggling his little toes, like moving his little toes around. And it's so funny because that's what my husband does. So it was really cute to see that. And she kept trying poking him with the, the, I don't know, the, uh, the ultrasound tool. I don't know what you call that thing. Trying to, to wake him up and trying to get him to move around, but he stayed in that position and you, we could see him yawning. It was so cute, but um, she did get a really, really good 4D picture of him smiling. So I'm gonna try and get that picture in so you guys can see that, because that is it's just, it's really cute. And from what we did get to see, I'm pretty sure he has my nose. Yeah, I'm so excited, he's so, he's so cute. Um, and she said he is weighing in at just under a pound so she said that's probably why i can constantly feel him moving around and kicking she said he is a he's a big boy he's measuring larger than um than 20 weeks but she said that's that's really normal um i mean it could always change so i guess i'll show you um my belly Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Is this a Samsung watch? If you want a picture of your TV. Open. Avery, stand back. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I saw a good gray hair pop up. <laughs> <laughs> there were four of them.